previous video, we saw how a stone on barge was moved from the pond impounded by the enclosure wall up into the pond impounded by the first level of casing stones. But how did a barge carrying a heavy stone get to the building site? The original builders had provided a water source at the building site which supplied water to a series of water locks between the building site and the Nile River. This series of water locks allowed stones on barges to travel from the Nile River all the way up to the building site and ultimately into the pond impounded by the casing stones. A water lock system was built between the Nile River and the building site. This allowed stones on barges to be easily delivered to the building site. Stones on barges were easily moved from the Nile River all the way up to the building site. This series of water locks from the Nile River to the construction site was the means in which stones on barges were transported. All Egyptologists agree that casing stones were moved using barges even though there is no physical evidence of the barges that were used to move the casing stones of the Great Pyramid. This is because the quarries for the casing stones are across the river from the building site. The use of water locks provided a systematic, fast, and powerful method to move heavy payloads. The use of water locks provided production line efficiencies to move the massive amount of material needed to build the Great Pyramid. The animations in this video series are intended to be very simple. The intent of these animations are not to concentrate on issues such as scale or complexity. Their purpose is much more important. The animations are intended to convey the major aspects of the fascinating construction procedures used to build the Great Pyramid. This relentless and systematic movement of stones allowed the materials to be brought all the way up to the pond impounded by the casing stones. Contrary to what many people think, water locks are an extremely fast method to move heavy payloads. In the 21st century, water locks are the system of choice to move our heaviest objects. The Panama Canal is currently being updated and modernized to move the largest objects that our civilization moves. 21st century engineers have chosen to use water locks to accomplish this task. The Three Gorges Dam in China will use water locks to allow ships to move cargo. In the 19th century, the Erie Canal in the United States was able to move cargo in excess of the weight of the Great Pyramid in just two years. The difference in elevation of one end of the Erie Canal compared to the other end is greater than the height of the Great Pyramid. The entire science of Egyptology has yet to move even one time a payload the weight of 16 tons. Water locks are ultra fast compared to Egyptologists. A simple canal using water locks is an elegant and sophisticated method to move stones. The use of water and water locks allowed the stones on barges to be moved with ease. The original builders were truly geniuses. Water locks are efficient, powerful, and adaptable. They can be used to lift battleships as in the Panama Canal or be much smaller depending on the size of the payloads being transported. Water locks are used to move vessels over obstacles. In effect, water locks allow vessels to travel uphill. 
Stones on barges were easily brought to the building site. Yet many questions remain. What about the empty barges? How did they return back to the Nile? How are the large casing stones set in their final resting place? If they are too large to move by brute force, they must also be too large to set in their final resting place using back muscles. How are stones moved up higher and higher as the construction process continues? How are the heaviest stones moved and set in place? All these questions and more are described in subsequent videos in this video series about how the Great Pyramid was built.